I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me. Hey guys, today I have a makeup tutorial with three different lip options. All of them are really bold and you can definitely switch them for whatever you're comfortable with, but I wanted to play with more bold colors. To get started on this look, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and putting this on my lids with a brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that with a yellow powder. So now the eye look is really simple, all I'm doing is applying a brown eyeshadow into my crease with a fluffy brush and I'm really blending this out because I want it to look pretty natural. You make my world so bright, it feels so right, it feels so right. And how will we ever feel that while if God is real, there's no denying? There's no I'm going to be taking one of these little eyeshadows from the NYX Heart LA collection, and this one is in Beverly Hills, and it's a really nice light shimmery color, and I really like it. So I put this on the inner portion of my lid. And then I'm just going to go back in with that same brush that I was using before my crease with no extra product and blend this out so it's not as bright because I want the whole focus on the eyes to be on the glitter. So now I'm just highlighting the brow bone real quick with a bone color. And then after that we're going to jump right on into the wing and to do that I'm using the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner. And I just got this and I really like it. It was so easy for me to do my wings. It's really black and it's just a really good product. So we're gonna go ahead and do my wing and you guys can do your wings however you like to do them. So now I'm just cleaning up my wing because this is the best way personally for me to get a sharp wing. And 
And now for the fun part, I'm gonna go in with a dual eyelash glue. And I'm using this because the applicator on this is a really thin brush and I love that. And then I'm also going to be using my Yofi Glitter in, in Disco Mania. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that eyelash glue and start making a line over the black. And then after, I'm just gonna go in with a little brush, dip it in the glitter and pack it on. This part is a little tedious, but it's definitely worth it, worth it in the end because it looks so pretty. So now because the glitter does a fall down a little bit onto the black, I'm just going back in with my eyeliner and cleaning it up and making it look really sharp so you can see the difference between the black line and the glitter line. And now I'm just taking a wet wipe and getting rid of the excess glitter that fell down all over my face. So now I don't know where the footage went of it, but I did line my waterline with a black liner and smudged it out a little bit. I really don't know where it went, but that's the only thing I did. And I also forgot to put mascara or lashes or anything on my eyelashes, so I apologize for that. I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer, and I'm going to put this on the back of my hand and use a brush to apply this to my face. And then after that, I'm going to take the Benefit, the Professional Pore Minimizing Primer, and I'm just patting this on to the areas where my pores are a little bigger with my fingers. So now I'm going to be using my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, and I am in the color Vanilla, and this is my, like, winter shade it's a little pink for me but i make it work with my powders and stuff Here I'm going in with my Revlon Nearly Naked foundation powder and this is in deep and I'm lightly brushing this on my face just to set the foundation and also to bring back a little more of that yellow tone that this foundation didn't have. So now I'm taking this yellow powder by Besami, I think you say, and this is the vanilla powder, and I'm just packing this under my eyes. I'm not baking, but I am making sure that it sets in there nicely by pushing with the brush. Now for my contour slash bronze, I was use actually using a face powder that is my summer shade. I don't remember the name of it. I think it's the L'Oreal matte one. I'm not really sure, but I'll probably have it linked down below. But that's what I'm using to carve out my face, and I think it looks really natural because that is my summer shade. And then I'm just going back in with that brush that I used to set my whole face just to blend it out. 
So now for my blush, I'm using this Makeup Geek blush, and it's super nice and pretty. I believe this is an XOXO, and I'm just going to be putting this on my cheek right above the contour. And I'm using a pretty light hand because it is a really pigmented pink. And now I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And I like to set my face before putting my highlight on just because it makes the highlight pop a little more. And I'm going to go ahead and use my highlight in Opal. And I love this highlight so much. It's so pretty. Like, look at that glow. So now for lip number one, I'm going with more of a red -y kind of color. I'm just lining my lips with a red lip liner. So after that, I took the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Bow and Arrow. And I'm just putting this on the center of my lips. And now I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid, liquid lipstick in American Doll. And I love this color. And I'm just blending these two together. And then because I'm definitely not perfect, I am going in with a makeup wipe just to clean up the edges. And now, to make this more interesting, I'm taking Max Pigment Color Powder, and this is in Ancient Red. And I'm just patting this right on the center of my lips. And it's like this red that has like purple undertones to it, so I think it looks really, really pretty right in the middle of my lips. And this is how it looks, and this one is definitely my favorite. So now on to lip number two, I'm going to be taking this long lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra and this is in Nepal Valley and this is a very metallic shade. It's really really pretty and I use a brush to outline my lips first because I didn't have a lip liner for this. So this look was definitely the easiest because all it was was one color because it already had the glitter and shimmer in it and this is how it looks and I absolutely love the way this looks. I think it complements the glitter on my eyes really nicely.
on to lip number three. This one is the most difficult lip and also the boldest lip choice. And I'm going to go in with this LA Splash Lip Tint Mousse. And this is in Bellatrix. And this color is like a deep purple and it's so deep that it's almost blue. And it's really interesting and at first I went in with a brush but I was getting annoyed because this liquid lipstick dries really really quick so it was hard for me to move around with it so I ended up just getting rid of that little brush and going in with the applicator and this one definitely looks bad before it looks good the way I did it at least Now I'm going to go in with this NYX Liquid Suede Lip Cream Lipstick and this is in Industrial Paradise and this is a super pastel blue purpley color and I put this on the center really sloppily and then took that brush again and just started dabbing it to mix the colors and the color that it made like after mixing them was really really pretty. So this one is very tedious and a lot of applying color, dabbing it out, blending it. I started using my fingers at one point, like it was just a lot, but at the end it looks really, really pretty. But of course we can't just be done with that. We're gonna go ahead and add this Urban Decay Stardust. And this is in 54, and this is just a purple glitter shimmer eyeshadow, and it's super pretty. And I'm just going to go ahead and pack this right on the center of my lips, just to give it a little more something, and be a little more extra. I really love this one, and I dare some of you to go ahead and try it out. I think it would look so pretty on so many different people. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. to wonder